Okay, so first off, we're gonna start off by mixing the paint. So in most cases, I see there's a lot of different variations of how much reducer you have to mix in with your paint. In this case, I'm using PPG, and I can use a one-to-one -one ratio. So for every one, let's say, ounce of this, I use one ounce of reducer. So we're gonna do a half and half mix. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up because I have a lot of stuff to paint. And I'm gonna be going by the milliliters. It's something easy for me. One of the ways that you know that you mixed it properly or you have a, a correct one-to-one -one ratio is that when you, after you're done mixing in the paint, you pull the stick out and you see how it has an even stream. That's what you want. You want an even stream. You don't want it to be too thick. You want it to be a little runny. Okay, it looks like for the most part we are done with these parts. There they go. Get out of the light. To the hood. Fender. Now we're gonna go ahead and clear coat these parts. And then hopefully get the rest of it finished up tomorrow. I'm not gonna be able to record the painting of the clear coat because of the fact that it gets on everything and it will get on all the lenses and stuff and it's not easy to come off so I will show you guys a video after it has been clear coated there's the hood fender fender and the bumpers give you guys a little close-up When you can see the reflection in it, that's how you know you did a good job. So now, let's go ahead and remove this. We want to see the end result. How does this look? There it is, how the rear bumper turned out. I just love the way the contrast looks, the black and this blue. There's the front bumper. That BRZ mustache. looks really good okay so now that the whole front end is taken apart I'm also taking off the doors as you guys had previously seen took off the door on the right side now today I took it off on the left side went ahead and removed all the trimming if you want to go ahead and do all that that way we can paint inside this area inside the door that way when you open the door you know you're not gonna see a different color because you're painting a car a whole nother color so we did that 
Now over here, basically disassembling the door, taking everything off. As you see, this one still has the plastic and all the, the wrap. So I went ahead and removed that. Here it is. It actually removes pretty easily. So it's already all gone from here. That way we can paint the inside of the door also because this part's actually visible when you open the door and you don't want it to be a different color. So this, this part back here is also very visible. And then this this is just going to be painted just in case, you know, some, they decide to open the door one day. And it's, you know, it looks all original, it looks OEM. It looks like the, the door was all originally like that. So we're going to go ahead and paint it just like they do at the dealership. So now I'm just going to take everything apart, wrap whatever needs to be wrapped so it doesn't get over sprayed on, and probably move this wiring out of the way. That way this wiring doesn't get painted either. Looks like something that can easily be removed. So after I stripped it out and I put all of the wiring and stuff on the inside of the door, kind of just tape stuff off. We don't want to get overspray on any of that, so I'm actually going to put newspaper in here to just seal it up. And then, now what we're doing, what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the side view mirror. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. It's just three bolts here and here. That way we don't get any paint on the actual plastic. And I want to paint this, so we're going to have to remove this little, we're going to remove this little cover here. There it is, took it off. That way we can paint all this. Obviously it goes body color. And then this goes body color also. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. There it is, completely off. So it's got little clips behind here. And it's actually pretty strong so they, they don't break. So you don't, you don't have to be afraid to actually remove it. So what I'm gonna do now is sand this down, hang it up, basically prep it for paint. Okay, today is the day. Time to start painting the inside part of the doors. And then we have the covers for the rear view mirrors. And then we have the wing here and the trunk. The trunk had a little dent here. I just had, I didn't want to have a dent, paint over a dent, so I went ahead and fixed the dent. And we're going to paint the back side of it too. So I got it up on the roof. That way I can paint it completely. And also this part right here that goes right underneath the trunk, right there. So now we are going to go ahead and get started on painting this. Okay, now that we got this, the inside part of the doors painted, there we go. Give you guys a close up. Uh, we're gonna paint the outside of the door, and to do that, we're gonna remove the handle. Because with the handle on, you don't want to paint it like that, because it can get the paint can get under here and it can go. It'll basically look really ugly. So what we're gonna do is remove this. So there's a bolt in there that unbolts this. And it just pops this out. There you go. And just remove the rest of the handle. Okay, there we are, finished sanding it down. I wanted to get in right here underneath the handle, that's why I wanted to remove the handles and make sure that everything you know was nice and flat, that there was nothing extra that this car actually had like a little plastic protector that goes right here. And uh, the previous owner put primer over that, so I had to remove it and sand it all down just to make sure it's nice and smooth. Don't want any uneven edges. Same here, it had a little plastic trim along the edge and the primer was over it, so I took it off and then sanded it back down again just to get it to be a nice smooth finish. Uh, so, there as you can see, it's painted on the other side. So we don't really need to tape off most of it. I just wanted to tape off this part just to not get any overspray on it because that's the most visible part. But when you're, when you're painting, it's really, really hard to paint underneath and the paint won't go there. It, it just hits whatever it is sprayed at directly. Over here, I have the door handles. Kind of have them floating. Just 
being held on by a wire. Same thing with this other part of the door handle. Right here. So we can paint those. So let's go ahead and paint the outside portion of the doors. Here it is. The doors are done. Shiny door handles. Painting the car piece by piece. It's a little bit more difficult than just painting the whole car, but overall, it's a way better quality job.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys got to see the transformation of this BRZ reach its hyper blue color, which was a pretty amazing process to see the car go from like three, four different colors and then just be all completely one. That will be it for this episode. You have to build the doors up, put them on and put the trunk on. So that way I was able to drive it out and uh, make sure that the car wasn't getting dirty. As you guys saw, I had a little plastic covering the doors. Now for the next episode, I'm going to be building the front end. So make sure you stay tuned for that and see you guys later. Bring it back to stock. Oh, well, here it is. This is the Origin Lab white body kit. As you guys can see, I only have the rears because this car wasn't a front end collision, which meant that both of the fenders got cracked because they were fiberglass. Not only did it have that, it had a fiberglass hood and a fiberglass front bumper. So all that was completely trashed. So the cheapest way to, to fix it up, make it look nice again, bring it back to life, was to completely revert it to stock.